neem oil used in solution is effective against all leaf-eating insects like squash bugs, beetles, aphids, caterpillars, ants, grasshoppers, mealybugs, leafhoppers, whiteflies, just to name a few. It is a fantastic natural alternative to conventional pesticides. Neem oil comes from seeds of neem tree, as a directa indica, native to India. Neem oil is called the village pharmacy and Sarvaroga nivarini, or one that cures all ailments. Organic cold press neem oil is the best because it contains the most azadiractin, the active ingredient in neem oil that acts as a pesticide. Azadiractin inhibits feeding in insects, disrupts the growth and reproductive cycles, and is a strong repellent. If the oil is solidified, just put the bottle into warm water. Never use hot water because it destroys the active ingredients in neem oil. Michael Phillips turned me on to using neem oil. He recommends half a percent neem oil for spraying apple trees. For pears, he uses less neem oil since they're more sensitive. So half a percent for four gallons of water is the same as two and a half fluid ounces of neem oil. But I use much less neem oil, only 0.1%, which is half a fluid ounce, which equals to three teaspoons of neem oil for four gallons of water and spray all my fruit trees apples, pears, plums, and cherries, and it works very well. I use Dr. Bronner's organic peppermint soap to emulsify neem oil, so it remains dispersed in solution, not floating on top of the water. Okay. See how it's becoming light, emulsified like mayonnaise? People have used neem oil successfully for many other problems in conjunction with a carrier oil like coconut oil or shampoo, soap or even lotion to deal with rosacea, dandruff, eczema, mites, lice, fleas, mange, acne, psoriasis, etc. mixture should be sprayed in the evening or very early in the morning so the beneficial insects like the pollinators are not affected by the direct spraying.
Neem oil is biodegradable and it can be reapplied after a rain. Michael Phillips' book, The Apple Grower, is a fantastic read on how to successfully grow organic apples. The author leaves no stone unturned. He writes in detail about every aspect of apple growing, from spraying, foliar feeding, fertilizing, pruning, etc., etc. Towards the end, Mr. Phillips presents the reader with a step-by-step -step schedule of all tasks to be done in an orchard throughout the growing season, so it's easy to know what, why, and when. I love this book and keep it handy as a reference.